Okay, we're good. Welcome in everyone. This is uh Katie Gentleman here. I'm Dave. I'm Kyle. And we're here with the uh, developer, James. Hello. And our good friend, the Ginger Empire. Hi, Ginger. Ginger. He's doing his intro. It's okay. All right. PTT. No, I'm here. I said hi. <laughs> PTT. I <pushed> the button. <laughs> Is it working? Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Yeah, I pressed it. No. Yeah. And we're back on the Ginger Empire side as well. Welcome back, everybody. It is myself, Ginger, and I'm here with Kyle and Dave, as well as James. How's it going, guys? Hello. Hello. Wave to chat. Bye, everyone. <laughs> so, uh, we'll just um, yeah, doing a nice Q&A with you, uh, James, just catching up and chilling the fat, as it were. Yeah, I'm happy to, happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for coming in. Um... So while we're doing this stream, we actually got a giveaway that's going to be happening as well. Uh, Kyle? Uh, yep, we've got a giveaway coming up. I'll be posting a link in the chat. Uh, you have to be 13 years of age or have a parent garden enter for you. Um, you'll see it posted soon. And at the end, if you missed it, we'll add it to the description of the video as well. So thank you, James, for that. No worries. So just to specify, the giveaway is um, uh, three copies of uh, Dinkum. Uh, so if you already got it, you can give it to a mate to come play or tell your friends to jump into the chat and they can quickly get the link and then sign up. It's free to enter and takes only like a couple of seconds. Um, so yeah. To specify, you can win one of three copies, but yes. Oh my God. Take that. Oh, is that the new <laughs> alpha weapon? It's the alpha weapons. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. That spear is way cooler. Oh, oh, the hammer. The hammer. Hammer? Show us the hammer. Well, we haven't seen it yet. It's pretty. Oh, that's really neat. That's awesome. That's freaking cool. Should I, should I try down these turkeys that you painstakingly <laughs> no, cast? Yeah, yeah, no, get them. No. Oh, no, no, no. I won't do that then. We won't be able to do turkey ball later. <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> Well, I, I, I'm going to just, since we're just getting going, I'm going to just drop a banger question. When, when, when does this go live, this, this update? Uh, so this update will be available for testing on the Discord, the Dinkum Discord, right after this. Well, pretty soon after it, once I uh, put some instructions together. Okay, so perfect. The test bill will be available. Uh, it will be a little bit different. There's some a couple new items, just like uh, furniture and clothing, um, that are that will be included, and then everyone can test that out. And I'm hoping it, there's no bugs, if, you know, or I can fix the bugs within the week, and hopefully I can release the really uh, the update next week. So you got to opt in if you want to play the um, the patch before it like is fully optimized. Then yeah, yeah, I just don't want to. Um, I don't want to. I want to make sure it's safe for everyone. Saves. Hey, um, quick pause to Kyle and Dave. Sorry to interrupt. Um, it sounds like maybe you, we can't hear everybody on your end, potentially. What are you saying? What you can't hear both of us talk? Yeah, they're saying that there's that with myself and James. They're not hearing us correctly. Is what I, the feedback from my stream is. So, just a, a quick double check, just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um... Seems Just turn them up on Discord then. Yeah. Right. Thanks for that. We'll just adjust it yeah. now. Yeah, not a problem. It might be volume level more than we can't hear us at all, I believe. All right, two secs. Roger that, thank you. I feel you guys' pain. I, I, I streamed for the first time. That wasn't on Discord the other day, and it was, yeah. It's hard. You do it all the time, Ginger. I'll just ask chat. Hey, chat, can you use, um, hear them now? Okay, we'll, we'll see how we go from here, and then I'll adjust it again higher yep. if you still can't hear them. Hey, awesome. Thanks, guys. Not a problem. Thanks for letting us know. Okay, so congratulations on your success of Dinkum release, mate. You've got like about quarter of a million copies sold so far. 
in your um, little dossier slash uh, press release you've got on the game, you've mentioned that you wish to recreate a little bit of the childhood and magic and nostalgia within Australia. Um, can you tell us what sort of um, childhood memories and stuff you're trying to recreate within Dinkum here and to get everybody that's like not from Australia? Yeah, um, so I grew up in a small bush town in the Atherton Tablelands um, called Irvinebank. The population was, I think, 80 people. And um, I grew up, you know, running around the creeks and uh, riding my bike on dirt roads. And just, uh, I was, you know, there were caves and stuff. So that's that was my childhood. And when I started making Dinkum, it was actually going to be a like a childhood simulator, you were going to go around and mow people's lawns to get pocket money so that you could buy video games. And it was going to be set in that, in that small hometown. Um, but along the way, another game that I was making, cause I was making lots of prototypes, they kind of mixed into each other and it ended up becoming Dinkum. Yeah. Right. So you were working on a different game and then this one just took you on a different path into, into Dinkum. Yeah. Well, Dinkum was bright and green and had, you know, it, it looked like a lot of other games. And I, I thought, well, why don't I mix that Australian, you know, that, that Australian theme that I had from the other game and mix it in. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so Dinkum has been compared a lot to like Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing, um, which both also took inspiration from Harvest Moon. So what sort of games and um, did you take inspiration off when you started developing Dinkum? Uh, Animal Crossing is the biggest one. So it, when I started making Dinkum, I think it had been uh, maybe six years since the last Animal Crossing, uh, and there was no news of a new one coming. So I, I just like I decided I was going to make the Animal Crossing that I wanted, and then New Horizons kind of got announced, and there was a lot of stuff in New Horizons that I was like, oh, well, I did that in Dinkum, and it, it, it ended up okay. Yeah, that's really cool. So, what sort of other games did you play in your spare time then? Uh, mostly Nintendo. So I had a 64 growing up, uh, a lot of Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Uh, I, I played Harvest, 64, Harvest Moon 64, but not on my 64. I played it through totally legitimate, uh, you know, I, I definitely had access to it as an Australian. I don't think the actual, I don't think the game came out in Australia, but I played a lot of uh, Harvest Moon 64 as well. Okay. Hang on one second. I think we're getting a little bit of technical issues with some audio. What no. I, th I think everyone says they've worked it out. It's all good now. You can keep going. Okay. Let's go for a little wander into the middle and discover the island a little bit while we uh, keep having a chat in the night. So another question for you. Um, what have you all... Blah, 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 blah. Have you always had a passion for developing games or is it something you just sort of fell into? Like what sort of career path have you taken to end you up as developing Dinkum? Uh, so I started, uh, I actually studied graphic design and illustration at university, but I've been making games since I was 10 or 11. So the, my first games were in PowerPoint and it would be a like a slideshow that you had to click on things real quick to yeah. kind of like a multiple choice game. Uh, then I started working in Flash uh, through the thousands. I I put some Flash games out, um, and not long before Dinkum came out, I picked up Unity and I, I I started learning there. I did do some programming classes in university as well. So you're not basically all self taught more or less. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, the the course I did didn't didn't teach three D modeling or. Uh, uh, like game design or anything. Yeah, right. Okay. So, um, how long did it really take you to start developing Dinkum? I, uh, well, I made a lot of prototypes, uh, a lot of, lot of prototypes, um, never finished anything. And when I, I moved States with my partner and I couldn't relocate, uh, my job, Get him. So I, I asked Get him. Her if I could, uh, make a game full time, I said, well, instead of me getting a new job, uh, I have this little bit of money. Can I make a game for one year? And she agreed because she's a wonderful woman. And then um, it ended up taking me four years and she supported me the whole time. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So very lucky. What was the most trialing thing of trying to develop it by yourself for over four years? I mean, it could have been done a lot quicker if it wasn't just me. But I, I, I learned a lot along the way. I, there are things that are super, super difficult. Like multiplayer for me at the start was really, really hard. Um, it still is. There's, that's where most of the bugs come from, because it's just, it's just a level of complexity added on top of regular game. Uh, logic and stuff. Yeah, okay. I remember in your other Q&A, you, um, you, added, you added the keybind and you said that was the most difficult part of this update, of just adding keybinds. Yes. Yeah, I've never <laughs> done anything like that and it was... Uh, it's kind of... I won't go... I'm not going to rag on Unity. I do like Unity, but sometimes when they add a new feature, uh, their doc documentation can be hard to, to understand. So I, I kind of had to do a lot of uh, feeling around to try and figure out what I was doing before I understood it. Yeah, right. So um, we mentioned earlier at the start that you sold just over a quarter million copies, probably a bit more by now. Um, did you ever really expect this game to like take off as much and like progress as fast as it did and pick up such a good community like it has? No, no, I, I, I can't believe it. Uh, the community is super wholesome and friendly everyone you know they're everyone's been so great and been really patient while i was working on this update and i appreciate it it's just yeah and seeing seeing everyone's islands and um you know the way they have everything set out has been it's just been the best part of releasing dinkum i what's what's the most interesting thing you've seen I know you've dropped into a few streams and that, but and you've probably seen a bunch of different interesting things people have done with their islands. What's a few that have caught your eye? Just the insane amount of effort and work and people being creative with items like uh, like uh, simple things like burying flower pot, uh, flower beds. I've never seen any of my testers do that. And I think a lot of the testers I had were like mechanically driven, which was okay, but I... I didn't have a lot of people testing the game that were really into like decoration and design. Creative side. Hey, burying the flower pot was broken, yeah. by the way. Just so you, just so you know, James. What was broken? Yeah, when you bury the flower beds, you can't loot them. Then the loot just disappears. In this update, just so you know. Uh, I've not tried this update. I'll have to go back to my town and hit some things and see if I can get anything. But yeah, previously to that, I could never loot anything that I had buried, like one square, two squares deep. In the flower pots themselves, like the the flower bed ones. Okay, okay, I understand. Yep, I will. Um, I'll take a look. You need uh, creative people to find creative ways to break your game. That's right. Well, it's that's been yeah, that's been my favorite part about about releasing the game. Yeah, I've seen people build um, just like sheds for their dogs or their tractors and that just by using the bridges as roofs and walls. Yeah. Yes, beyond creative. Beyond creative. That was that was, um, and it became kind of a trend, which I really enjoyed. I wish, I wish I could get uh, items to place under bridges, but it's probably not going to be possible for a very long time, if it ever. But so what's what's like one of the most creative things you've seen the community make, or like something that really stands out to you? Uh, a lot of them, the, I, the the most creative ideas get like get passed around. So like a swimming pool with you know the stairs that come in that's nothing i've seen before that everything kind of blows me away um people have made like venice like cities where you can like row a boat between everything um seeing the size of people's mega farms uh certain people even here just nuts oh, i just didn't expect ginger. well you know yeah, I you can called out ginger <laughs> so it's, yeah. happening. It's, it's not a bad it's thing like a three thousand platform oh my god yeah <laughs> just thinking about it there's a reason I have a really strong team and Captain Bladar and Marcus that really help keep the farm going at this point because I overbuilt. It's tough to keep up with. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying you overbuilt. I mean, help is always always welcome. <laughs> Speaking about help, um, absolutely. You sort of touched on it on your other live Q and A, um, but the, uh, expanding your development team is it something you've put thought into, or like you think you can handle it all on yourself for a while yet? Uh, for the for the rest of the year, it'll probably just be me. Um, I I'm going to need help uh, if when I port the game. No matter what, it's just not something I'm capable of doing as well as you know continuing to develop. 
Oh, to be clear, that's not happening for a long time, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, once I finish, so the plan coming forward, uh, the updates will be themed around the in-game seasons, and I want to, you know, make every season feel different because I think that's something that's lacking. And I, I need to find a creative way to do that because Australia doesn't, you know, a lot of our uh, trees, you know... Not a lot of seasonal trees, yeah. No, and yeah, I, I want to find a way to make... It'll, it'll be more wildlife and... Um, you can have a jacaranda tree. That's true, that's they true. Are, they are pretty during winter. I think, yeah, they flower in winter. They're nice big... The pink things. flowers, right? Yeah, yeah. You can get purple ones too, They're like when they cross hybrid with something else, but yeah. Yeah, maybe that. that that that's the kind of stuff I want to um, put forward. And this update is a little update. Um, I just wanted to show everyone, you know, uh, you know, I'm continuing to work on the game. The bug fixing took a lot longer than I thought, and I I wanted to make it make sure that the people that had bought the game can play it before I started trying to add new things. And that's another reason why I'm doing the Discord test um, just first, just so that I can you know, let people test it before I give it to everyone. There's going to be bugs no matter what. That's just how game development is, especially when you're by yourself. But if I can get rid of some of the big ones before, uh, I'll be I'll be really happy. Hey, can y'all, just step in real quick, can y'all see what I'm doing with the bat lamp, the bat sapper? At the bottom like the shadow. I can, I can hold left click and it just stays on. Is that by design? Yes. So that's, that's just really like the cool. torch. That won't, um, it that won't discharge it either. Done. It won't stun anything. It'll only stun it when you right. initially click. Yeah. Oh, just like the torch, because we we put the torch into it. I like that. That's really creative. Yeah. Right. You got any more it's further very, questions? Yeah. Like, um, any more further per personal questions you want to hit up, Ginger? Yeah, I did have one. I mean, James, you had some some substantial success, and I got. I I know it. Obviously, it changed your life. We threw out the number, you know, 250k plus copies sold. Like, how does that make you feel? Like, how does it make you feel about the time you put in, everything you've done? Um, yeah. So, I told, I have someone that helped me with marketing, and I've been talking to them for a little while before the game came out. And I told him that I would, he said, What are your goals? And I said, If I can make, if I can make, enough money to keep making games. That's my dream. And yeah, I achieved it. So it's, yeah, it's life changing. It's, it's, um, as someone that's self taught and you know, dreamed of doing this, it's, it's been, I can't even put it into words. It's, it's incredible. I, I can't, I can't believe how many people have played Dinkum and I'm really grateful. Yeah. It's, I, it's absolutely amazing for sure. So another question, really, uh, where do you see Dinkum in one year? Like, what what do you roughly see a, a full release date to it, if at all? So that yeah, it'll be. I, I want it to be in roughly one year. Um, once once one point oh is complete, I don't want to say I'll keep supporting it, but I will support it as long as it's viable and as long as I'm having fun. And I do I do have a lot of fun when I'm working on Dinkum. <clears throat> So you but, maybe make a second game then, or Dingham 2.0 or something like that? Probably never a sequel. I, I don't know. They, I've, I've read a lot of stuff saying it's it's hard for indies to do singles. I think some of the bigger indies can do it successfully. Uh, but I'd, I would rather just keep updating Dingham before I made a sequel. Um, but I do have ideas for a, a new game. Yeah, right. That's, That's awesome. That's and great. I'm sorry if you could hear someone more mowing outside. No, not yet. <laughs> Got another personal question too. Actually, this one comes from Aunt Captain. Uh, great time to ask it. I'd, she says or ask, "I'd love to know if the characters in game were in honor of real life people in your life, James." Yes. Well, yes and no. So John is the only one named and visually representing my. He's my brother. Uh, really so he's, okay. he's based off my brother. He's a, he was the first character put in the game. Um, a lot of the other characters were named and based off uh, real life people, but they started feeling the same. Uh, so to give them more personality, I and I kind of changed their the way they talk and their personality as well. Um, but Rain was based off my wife, 
um, nice. and Fletch was originally called James and kind of looked the way my character looked. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I thought, you know, a nice old woman. No one's going to get mad at a nice old woman, but I was wrong. There's, some people say some nasty <laughs> things about Fletch. <laughs> Good old Fletch. That's what I say. That's really cool. I love the the brother story and and the fact that you made a character after your wife too. We've yeah, I've definitely seen um, other characters like uh, we can get the inspiration for Owen and uh, Ted Sully. That makes sense. Yes, Owen used to be called Bo and had the bowl cut still. And then someone pointed out they they should be called Owen. Uh, and Milbourne, I, I still regret calling him Milburn and Melvin. I shouldn't have given two characters M names because it's confusing, and they're both old white guys. <laughs> old heads or close to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Milborn, Milburn, I don't know how you say it, um, he is actually, that's the name of the Monopoly dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that, yeah. Super, super lazy name. I was going to change his name to Richard, but I thought it was too on the nose. That that would have been funny, though, because then you could just have all the don't be such a dick jokes. That go yeah, that's that. right. <laughs> Let's head back to the base and then we can sleep it off and maybe play some turkey ball in a bit while answering some more questions. That's a good idea. Oh, I don't have a glider, guys. Oh, what? That's <laughs> so I'll swim, I guess. Thanks a lot. I no, mean, it's if fine. If Ginger was nice, he'd give you his uh, fancy new glider. I like it too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're friends, but we're probably not I, that close. <laughs> sorry, it turned, out, it turned out I had a glider in my pockets. <laughs> so that's another thing. Um, so there's a couple of changes. So seeing you guys, I, I like grinding to get certain items. I don't, I thought 25 bat wings, someone would have 25, but uh, it's a lot harder than I thought. So I haven't, I still like, I, I want this to be a reward. So it's 15 in the, uh, in the one that will go live on discord. Ooh, okay. oh, so you're making us grind for it, but everyone else gets yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have I felt like 25 was fair. Yeah, okay. I feel like I honestly like twenty five. But how many hours do you have? Twenty five is good. Okay, I, well, let, I had bat wings yet. I've got like nine, yeah. and you know, I probably don't go to the deep mine as much as I should. But I think twenty five is a good grind reward to get something. Like that. All right, I'm having similar feedback in stream. Only a few have said so far, but my two cents is it, most people with this game are going to be like me, where they've been keeping the wings from the start. So I had 23 going into this test build, so I had to find two more, and yep. I thought it was a good grind. I mean, the bat glider flies different. You know that too, right, James? Like you get so yeah, yeah. much more air, air time. It's 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 a good grind for the prize for sure. Fair enough. Uh, maybe I'll change it back. But uh, other things like the alphas that needs to be addressed. So the alphas either need to always drop the material because you can't choose when they come. Right, and, yeah, I or, or there's got to be a way to summon an alpha. I think that's the trade-off. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's, there's things I want to adjust while people are testing. So have you thought about adding an alpha frillion? Uh, that was mentioned on the live stream. Um, it was. I, I, I like it. I, it would probably alpha have to shark. The alpha shark with the beefy legs. Yeah, that's Ooh, true. That'd be cool. Oh my god. Uh, Alpha shark could be fun because then maybe you could. This is me spitballing. Like have some kind of like shark hunter guy that shows up, like Jaws. Could be a whole little we'll storyline. <laughs> yeah, we'll need a bigger boat. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. That'd be super cool. That'd be awesome. Um. So, uh, let's go with just going to my questions here. Sorry. Sorry. That also reminded me. Um. Jimmy is obviously John's. You know. Brother. John's brother, yeah. So, John's my brother. So I'm Jimmy. Oh, oh that's cool. You're the money bags. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I don't have hair like Jimmy's. Trust sure? me. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> um, so a question that was I kind of addressed in the Q and A, but I've already got written here, and it's just probably some like a little bit of feedback. Um, do you recommend people wiping before doing the new update? Now you also touched on like. This is a double dip. You're touching on waterfalls and you're saying if you wanted to get waters on different levels, it doesn't work right now. So if you'd have to do it, you would have to get people to wipe the game and start fresh. When I was watching, re-watching again the um, Q&A when you had that, 
there was an overwhelming response of people wanting to, they would be happy to wipe to get waterfalls or something like that in the game. Is that I, something I you would still implement or do or something? May, maybe. It, it's still also, it's a, it's a lot of work. Um, and it's not something I can, you know, it would take a long, a long time. Uh, maybe that, yeah, I don't want to confirm it, but it would probably be a, like a right before launch, but my idea, like I would prefer not to wipe anyone save. So if I can find a way to let people play on this, this world, and then they just have to create a new world for waterfalls, I'd prefer to do that. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. But I, uh, yeah, waterfalls are a long way off. Um, another idea, like I said in the live stream would be to give you like a craftable decoration that looks like a waterfall, uh, that you could place. But you know that, that's something similar what I to the fountains. Yeah, I, I have a question. Why yep. do the jet skis have propellers? Oh no, <laughs> no! I, this is my my <laughs> friends nice. always say this. Uh, so they didn't, and then I put one on, and then one of my testers is like, "Well, it's a jet ski; it shouldn't have a propeller." <laughs> and I said, "Oh, you're right." And then I took it off and then put it back on again to annoy him. <laughs> And never <laughs> get off. Uh, I love that. That's pretty good. <laughs> but really, it was it was to annoy someone. The best reason. That's right. That so, sounds like something Marcus and I would do. <laughs> is there any plans to have some underwater gear or like more of an underwater world or theme? Because where you are in Australia, I won't tell exactly where, unless you want to. Um, you're in the northern part of Australia, where there's the Great Barrier Reef. Um, which is a great um, icon of Australia. Is there any plans of having Scooby gear or something like that added into the game? Uh, I've got ideas. So you guys might know about the diving knife. It's a, it's an item that was in the game. It was used for other things, but um, it's kind of like a dev item at the moment. Uh, so I've had plans. Uh, and the I don't know if you have you ever picked up the long shoes. I think they're called long shoes. Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, so they were meant to be flippers, and I, I just repurposed them. Um, so maybe yes, they reintroduce yeah. them as flippers and like have the same effect as the boogie board. Really, that's true. yeah, that's true. See, what I don't like uh, about giving clothing like a function, for example, the candle hats or the miners' hats, is everyone ends up always wearing it. Necessity, yeah, yeah. And if you if you give someone the best hat they're going to wear the best hat. Why would you wear anything else? And I don't want to force people to wear. You don't want to force them better. No. Uh, the candle hat was meant to, you know, I, I think I've said that on this, the stream, but it was never meant to be in the game. So, but I've embraced it. The community likes it. So it's still in the game. Just, just a side hustle here, guys. Remember that there is a uh, giveaway within our chat. So if you type in exclamation mark giveaway, it'll bring up a link. You can go through that. And it will then also, uh, in that link, you then fill in a couple of details. It's all free to enter, um, and then it'll be drawn within 48 hours. So get in now while you can, uh, and then the giveaway will be there. And also, if you're not subscribed to KD Gentleman or Ginger Empire, make sure you go do that as well. Uh, we very much appreciate it. Uh, that's active now, guys. Uh, it'll also post a link out every five minutes in the chat as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so you want to have a little round of uh, roo soccer? Yeah, I, I did have a I did have a juicy question real quick. Yeah. Um, what do you think? This is way out there, so don't answer if you don't want to. Uh, what do you think about the competition that's going on right now? Like your competition, like Dink, the Dinkum style game. It's very popular right now. Uh, there's a, a lot of big ones com coming out, like Coral Island, the Ranchers, etc. What do you think you'll do to try and kind of not compete, but try to, you know, keep interest on Dinkum to, to as best you can? Uh, what, what are your plans? I don't really have like overarching plans to, uh, to try and keep people away from those games. I, I mainly focusing right now on the people that have already bought Dinkum and they want to see the, the game finished. So I, I guess I'll just be doing updates. Um, adding new content and events and hopefully the people that are interested will 
they'll they'll give Dinkum a go again. It, it come back to Dinkum. But uh, yeah. some of those some of the new competition looks great. I haven't had a chance to try Dreamlight Valley. I don't think it's the kind of game I would look for. But that's nothing against it. Like I, I love Animal Crossing, but um, I'm not a big Disney fan. That's pretty much where it ends. Um, but the ranches, I believe, it looks it looks great, and I'm looking forward to playing that with my with my friends uh, or yeah. even my wife because a lot of kind of similar design philosophies as Dinkum, just coincidentally, like, but with some really cool twists on some of them as well. Yeah, the the roadmap you had posted is really exciting to me, and honestly, I'd say uh, my personal opinion, Dinkum's right up there with all of those games, like easily. And I I may be so bold, I'm going to drop my big comment now. Um, I'd say personally, Dinkum's the best solo dev project I've ever played. Thank you. Since 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 Stardew Valley, like I was gonna I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna correct else. you, yeah, because Stardew yeah, Valley is Stardew incredible. Valley. Yeah, absolutely. But you you built an amazing, amazing uh, fan base for sure. So I think it uh, especially can only get bigger going forward. So yeah, and I I like to think that Dinkum is um, a little like how I perceive Sea of Thieves. Now when that dropped, there was only like a couple of missions out and a couple things at the time. But a year or two later now, when I look at it, there is so much content to it. It's just only gets better with time and whatnot. So I feel like Dinkum's going to be a lot like that too for with your roadmap and stuff. So right now there's X, Y, Z of things to do. But if somebody came back in six months time when they wanted to revisit it, there would be a whole lot more to do, um, which would just give people a lot more excitement, which I find is really good too. Like it just gets better with time with more content. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I, that's and this is when I this is the reason I put it into early access. So with this update, I've tried to there's there's items anyone can gain along the way, but I, what I want to do is kind of push the end game more with the updates, as well as you know there are there are things that trickle back down. But I when you when you're at a point where you guys are or Ginger is, there's yeah that's the kind of the stuff that I'm interested in adding just to fill out the end game and kind of um, give you more and more incentive. Yeah, well, I would, hopefully, you know, you've finished grinding um, at this point where you guys are, but there's still stuff you can do. Um, yeah. But that's the kind of stuff I want to be doing in updates. But the next ones will be like seasonal events, probably on a Sunday, the last Sunday of every month. There'll be like a, a fair or uh, like a... Most of them... I think they'll all be called sausage sizzles. I'm not sure yet. Ah, uh, good that's old sausage sizzle. <laughs> that's right. But uh, they'll they'll be themed around the. the for you, for yourself, Ginger, sorry, and everyone in America, Bunnings is our like Home Depot, and out the front they have a sausage sizzle, and it's just an Australian thing that on the weekend you go there to pick up anything you need for like DIY home stuff or just anything, and then you'll also get nice. a sausage sizzle while you're there. So it's just Which a very nice. iconic Australian thing. And a sausage sizzle is a cooked sausage in a piece of bread with tomato sauce. Uh, one more question. Yeah. Just, and then I'll, I'll pause everything. I'm getting a lot of questions on, on my end. Uh, Gers asks, with how important decorating slash design is for a lot of people as they, they get to their end game and replay value of the game, are you planning on adding lots, emphasis on lots, of more of like decorative type items in the future? Yeah. So with this, I've put in, I think there's four new pathing. Like that's that stuff. That stuff is the stuff I meant that kind of will trickle back down to not end game stuff. Um, right, right. Just in this one, a lot of the decorative items that I have added are kind of end game items, just because a lot of them need cloth. Uh, but that's yeah, that's that's stuff that will be included in every update, just like uh, new crops and fish. But I, I don't like with the. Um, the, the new crop in this game, I want it. I want it to be a different way to get. So that kind of will be end game, if you understand. I don't know if I said that yeah, correctly. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Um, I've got a question that's just getting hammered in um, chat here. It's basically extending the length of the day. Now I think you touched on it on your Q and A. It's now a little longer, not a lot, but it's a little longer. Not yet. I haven't. I haven't had a go at it yet. It's um, it's something. 
yeah, that meeting and I discussed that probably will be season dependent. So the summer days will be longer than the winter days. The winter days will probably be the same length, um, but it won't be in this update. It's it's something that gets mentioned a lot, but I don't. Sometimes I'm not sure. Do they want more minutes, or do they just want more the same amount of minutes day. with more light? Yeah. Well, we'll what if chat? Do you want more daylight hours, or do you want like more physical minutes within a um, seven till midnight? Thing? I think they mean daylight hours. Is, is how I've typically seen. I've seen a lot of people mention that too. So I think it's yeah. Sun goes down at like eight or nine instead of six. Yeah, is what I which think is people want. Very strange in the part of the world I live in because the sun always goes down around six thirty. Yeah. Uh, well, we can't we can't break the we can't break that then. No, no, no. I think I think <laughs> depends where you live. You know how close you are to equators and stuff. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And daylight savings. So yeah, things. further further down south here, it's um uh, it in summer it gets bright at five in the morning and it's the sun goes down at seven. Um, but for you, it'd still be around that five to six sort of time. So. Yeah, it depends yeah. on how far equator you are. The closer you are to it, the more light, yeah. more daylight it, you have. In general, the days, you know, the days do get longer. So it, it isn't some, and it's very, very requested, and it isn't something that's super difficult. The most difficult thing will be tracking down how the lights turn on because I can't remember. So as long as I can figure out that code, um, yeah, I can extend it. Maybe just make midday, make the the sun not move. You know, just stays in the middle of the sky for longer. Yeah, right. So I've got a couple of rapid fire questions for you, mate. Yep. Bigger storage chests, yay or nay? Uh, nay for now. Uh, can we stack storage chests on top of each other rather than next to each other? So I thought about that because it's been suggested a lot, and I don't know how you would choose which chest. Mm, yeah, good. So yeah. if you stacked it, it would probably just become a bigger chest. So maybe that can be in when I do that update. I've got one. Um, signs. Will we have the ability to put them on stuff? So like on a wall instead of on the ground? And writing on them. Uh, a writing sign isn't impossible because I, I have a similar code that names the guest houses. So it might be a way to do it. Uh, I had a thought the other day that if you could make like street signs and they would appear on your map. Uh, but oh, yeah. If you just wanted to label things, I think um, I don't think you'd want those on your map. It would get pretty cluttered. I think Dude. while we're here, I'll quickly grab a uh, deed so we can make a guest house for dear Ginger and James while we're here. You do that. Um, do you think by the time the game's full release that there'll be a story um, for the characters? Uh, that's yeah. That's something I want to. Um, I still need to find. Just because the world's randomly generated, I, there's no place for you to go with an NPC. I heard so, someone suggest one time that there should be like maybe a local pub you could build and each night maybe the locals gathered around that particular building that you yes, put down I, as a deed. I like the pub idea a lot. Um, I I don't want to say anything about that besides okay, the fact that I like the idea. One. Um, Ooh, but, juicy goss. but, um, expanding, I have a lot of dialogue written already, uh, that kind of expands all the characters' stories, uh, but I need to find an interesting way to put it in the game. The other idea I have is, you know, when you hang out with them, they could ask to go to a certain location on the island, and once you're there, they'll, they'll, like, tell, tell you about you know, tell the, tell you about themselves. Kind Could of be some backstory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's, you definitely want to weave some sort of narrative into the overarching s structure of the game. Yes. Yeah. I, I think leaving that loose is, uh, better. Uh, if you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, I like f games that are free and open and, you know, I've seen some players that, they don't even talk to the NPCs. They just ask, "What do you like? What would you like?" And that's fine. Like, I don't want there to be something you can miss out because you're not engaging with them. If you understand what I mean. So, like, a lot of the characters do talk about themselves uh, and their old lives. But if you're not interested in that, that's fine. I don't want it to be um, to lock content or anything. Slapstick sidebar: Is Clover a social sociopath or just socially awkward? 
Clover, look, she's into she's into some stuff. That's she likes making clothes and she likes doing other stuff at night time. That's all you know. She everyone likes has to their wear hobbies. The skin. <laughs> The overarching Clover storyline is probably my favorite because everybody's like, what? Clover watching you through the window? What's going on, huh? It's the best storyline so far. Yeah. Uh, Clover, Franklin, and John are my favorite characters. Is Clover based on anyone? No, not anyone in particular. I, <laughs> I, just, uh, I just wrote stuff I thought would be funny for an NPC to tell creative. you. But there, she, yeah, she, I, have, I have plans with Clover. I guess I can say on here is that um, she was aware she was in a video game, but a lot of those lines of dialogue got taken out. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's that would have cool. been pretty funny. I think she, she used to say something like, oh, we're being watched right now or something like that um, from above because you couldn't move the camera into free mode when I started making the game, but I got rid of that line. That's really creative. I like that. <laughs> um, bottle tree saplings. Um, probably Please. never. Aww. So maybe I, 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 the bottle trees were um, put in uh, pretty early, but by accident they didn't have their own unique wood, which I quickly shoved in, um, and it just turns into hardwood. But that was that mistake ended up making people chop them down in the early game before they had the axe. And I, I'd liked that there was this endangered tree that you could eradicate. But maybe, maybe in the mines, maybe in the mines you can find one. It is a unique angle, and maybe with Jimmy we can buy the seeds with for, with the fancy points. That's true, yes. Yeah, Jimmy could be really could, tough Jimmy to get them. Um, yes. Little little idea. Maybe have a like a gift inside the bottle trees, like a chance of spawning something rare when chopping down. Because um, I think isn't. I think I might be getting confused, but I just thought there was some sort of legend or some theory that they would hold like a spirit or something from that from memory. I can't quite. Something like that's coming to mind, but I can't remember exact. But maybe if we like put the gift or a um, a rare spawn within the trees, and then you cut it down, and they grow once a year, and maybe can't get rid of the stump or something. So then, you know, once a year, you've got a chance of uh, getting a rare spawn out of it. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that one as well. That's really neat. Um. Okay. What more licenses have got coming to the game? What's next? I. There are no new licenses in this update. That's what I'll say. What kind of what kind of thing would you guys like to see or your chat? Yeah, personally, I would love this to be like excavation license tier two. Vincent had mentioned that one, which would hopefully lead to you know being able to build higher or dig deeper. I don't know. That's I know that's complicated there because you have the hard stops in for a reason. Yeah, I I don't mind it. I don't mind it. What about like a higher level license for the deep mine leading leading to? I know I said it before, like maybe changes in the elevator. Maybe we can go to a level two. Yes, that maybe one. Maybe level two is something really unique. I have got plans for that. I I do have plans. I'm, I'm excited for that. Very nice. Very nice. Um, what else have we got here? Doggo house. Come on. When when's the doggo house coming? It's in this update. You can it buy it from this update. Early. No, oh. yeah, it's it's, it's, I haven't played this update much. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Got him. Yeah, it's bound to happen. There's always one clown in every party. Hey. Well, would we like to play a game while we uh, think of some more questions? Do you have anything else you're gonna ask, Ginger? Yeah, shoot, sure, Ginger. Um, let me let me scroll through stream chat here for a minute. Level uh, two mine with alpha animals. Ooh, that's cool. That might be a way to uh, solve. Just, yep. just overall, you know, more cook. I'm just like rapid firing here for things I've seen. More cooking recipes, train with train tracks, sewing machine, wear moon nest that could respawn, construction equipment, um, things of that nature. Just like what what plans do you have for uh, quality of life? Fruit vacuum is at, being asked a lot, like to loot the fruit trees easier. That's uh, that is one of the um, one of the ideas I've had for. A Franklin invention. 
that's a good idea. Yeah, more Franklin inventions. I'm obsessed with Franklin and his inventions, but he did <laughs> upset us, so we put him on a mountain out of town. Yeah, we moved him out of town because he was just so grumpy all the time. I had to get him out of town. He doesn't like people. <laughs> yeah, I can relate. Yeah. yeah, me too. Can we use cooked food as decoration on tables? Yeah, that'd be really cool, and that's that's a that's really easy to get um, some some cool decor items in the game too. That's um, yeah, that's something I've been thinking of how to do. Just because I kind of have like an internal rule to only let you do one button uh per item right. if you understand so if you if, if hold is eat like would pressing be placed otherwise i was going to give you like craftable plates and you could just put a plate on a table and then you could put the like if you hold a food next to it it will insert it and sit there so that's kind of the other idea i had but uh it's something yeah i think i think that's a great idea and it will it would open up a lot of stuff just you know stuff that's already in the game right yeah yeah, I, I like that idea, too. Uh, just remember, uh, guys, as well, in the chat, if you put an exclamation giveaway, there's a giveaway of three copies of Dinkum. Uh, it's free to enter. Just put an exclamation giveaway, and it will come up as well. And every time I have to reiterate, it's win one of three copies of Ginger, not I win three copies. Well, you, one um, of three copies of Ginger, you said? Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, for, sorry. I'm trying to give away? <laughs> you, sorry, Dinkum. You're part of it. You come packaged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Sorry, with, with Ginger. Uh, how about we go have a nap and we'll play some turkey bowl. And Okay. Hang on. I've got a house. Where are we going to place this down? This is going to be either a Ginger or a James house. Like, while we walk in park. Really like, out here somewhere, maybe. We're going to need to rearrange all these this town and stuff. We are. Yeah. Speaking of which. James, time, I'll ask. Yeah, go on. Sorry, sorry guys, very sorry. Uh, just the loot hoard question that I know I've asked before, but stream is asking too. Like additional lootables that are rare, like diamonds, sapphires, gold, or things, uh, shiny things. That is, um, so I I talked to people on Discord about it, but I, I had an idea for um, like gold nuggets that can be found and carried, like the rubies. Oh but yes, please. The gold nuggets, um, so the mine would only spawn rubies or gold, but when you had gold, that would be worth a lot, lot more. But there would also be a lot of pyrite, like fool's gold, and they look exactly the same. But I, I thought that might be too trolly. Like it, it, uh, so like you would pick up five of them, and only one of them would be real. Ah, uh, okay. That could be um, a bit of a grind thing. Yeah, I don't I'm, know. I think it's. Too I think it's cool. The, the the fake ones would still sell for like twenty five k, but not 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 like you know five hundred k or whatever. Some people but, in the chat are saying fool's gold is a good idea. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think that's good. I mean, I don't think like it's the trolly. more shiny, the be better. More, yeah, it might be more grindy, which is kind of good. Like, is it real? Is it not? Maybe level three my, um, mining license or something might be able to tell the difference between it. And make it like fifteen thousand points or something to get like something really expensive. Yeah, that's yeah. There's, I think, yeah. But I also don't, I don't want to annoy people. I'd rather, yeah. But that might be annoying. So that's why I haven't put it in this update. Uh, but maybe in the future when I expand the mines in however I do it. What about um, koalas? When are we going to see koalas in the game? Um, I mean, it probably makes sense for the next update. Which one's the next update in the roadmap? It's um summer, isn't it? Uh, spring. Spring. Oh, but I might have to. Depends. I, I I might need to shuffle um shuffle the the seasons around depending because spring, you know, it has eggs. It's already kind of unique. It's also at the end of the year in game. Um. Any chance but, that yeah. Weary Moon Moonest would ever respawn in the proper zone? Um, possibly, possibly. I, I don't want, uh, it's, yeah, possibly. I'll just say possibly. Okay, and then Animal Ask, Koala and Bin Chicken have both been asked about a lot, so. Do you know what a Bin, bin Chicken is? It's like a Ibis type thing or something? It is, it's exactly right? what it is. It's, it's an Ibis. ibis. 
They were thinking about having yeah. that as the uh, icon for um, the uh, the Olympic Games held in uh, Australia in 32, <laughs> nice. 2032, I think it is, or 2030. Yeah, I can't believe people even recommended that. <laughs> then somebody said, where are the snakes as well? Snakes, yeah. I think you I, 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 they're just hard it was to hard to animate. They're hard to animate, but it doesn't mean they're not, you know, they're not impossible, but... Uh, just I'd give also, them legs. Huh, would the they be like the freaking out of the cage? Uh, yeah, that's, that's in this update. So the um, the metal cage is better. The metal cage can hold animals better. So I think it can do echidnas and uh, dingoes like without damaging them. Yeah, and also yeah, you can catch them with no damage. Now. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's cool. Just because they were they were so similar that people just made the stick ones. Yeah, there was not much of a difference between A and B. Um, we'll need to grab a slingshot, Kyle. Can you go grab that? Uh, yeah. Uh, what about the bin chickens? Is that like a hard no or? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I, I, I got to find a creative way to do it. Maybe you can build some bins around town and it, it attracts them sometimes. I don't know. Otherwise, they can cool. just be hanging out. Uh, it's flying by. Or how about, so um, you know, when you like metal detecting and you can bring up that wheelie bin, maybe they can like, like the doggo does scratch and sniff and dig at that spot. So maybe that's cool. <laughs> maybe they yeah. all sniff out the trash somewhere. That's true. Yeah. Or maybe you could just, you know, hit the bin and a bunch of bin chickens jump out. <laughs> the last fourth. We've wow. had a few people comment on something called a, a, a Dinkaconda. That sounds that sounds like a great way to name the snake at the, at the very least. <laughs> oh my god. I think you'd have to add some sort of uh, snake phobia warning at the start if you did that. And also yeah, I mean, a uh, 18 plus thing or something. <laughs> that's true. I, I got some stones and some slingshots, so I'll uh, bring them back now. You know how to play, I'll, James? I'll let you all play this? this time. Yes. Yeah, I'm keen. It's tough for me because I've got about a two second lag, so I'll just watch. Has Australia tried importing sloths? No, I don't think we ever have or will. But cane toads are one thing, which is what you see when it rains, which is really annoying. Yeah, I um, I had a plan for a special NPC that would use the skins as uh, a currency. Yeah, right. Just because when I was a kid, you could collect cane toads and deliver them somewhere in the neighborhood. And Did you guys have this? Pay, yeah, they would pay yeah. like a, a 50 cents or a dollar or something like that per yeah. cane toad or whatever. Just a bit of background for anyone who doesn't know, cane toads are a um, pest invasive species that was introduced to Australia and it wrecks a lot of the native environment. So um, we From had Hawaii, for a while, a while a way to cull them. Um, those bounties out on their heads. All right, that would go. be amazing if that was in the game, by the way. Hang on, I'm going to time Super already. Cool. Wait, wait up. You got the 60 seconds like everyone else. Uh, I'll, wait. I'll just add as a few as seconds. You hit, as soon as you hit, we'll go. Who, who did this camera that controls this? Uh, if he does doesn't attack, we probably just box. need to sleep. No, I'll, just, I'll hit it with this. Yeah, we've had this before. We just need to sleep, and it'll um, it'll fix it. No, we've only just woken up, though. I think yeah, chainsaw. What if I let him go? Mm, can give that a whirl. They can't attack each other. I'll pick him up, though. Look, it's a it's a early uh, early release field. Early, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's. Yeah, uh, sleeping bag sleep, it okay. definitely fixes what it. What if we might. just unload the chunk? But anyway. Um, yeah, the only way I sort of found is a chainsaw. I'll grab, grab a chainsaw and we'll just give that a whirl before we sleep. Might might be worthwhile. You getting that, car? I'll get it. Yeah. We can try. Ginger runs out of patience and throws his alpha bat fireballs everywhere. <laughs> I would never. I'm tempted. Twice. He did on it. Uh, I guess technically, didn't he? <laughs> Maybe Marcus. we do need that rifle after all. Marcus, if you're listening, uh, congratulations for beating Ginger twice in fair play. Ah, ah. <laughs> turkey, oh, turkey my gate. Heart. Yeah, it's still it's still Turkey Gate. Yeah. 
Uh, who under the chainsaw? Uh, give it to uh, James. Thank you, James. Thank you. I'm give it a shot. not confident. Oh, it worked for a second. No, it's not. Right. Yeah, we just need let's to run this way. It. Run this way. Yeah, we just need to unload the chunk for a sec. Or he knows who I am and he doesn't want to attack me. He, he does. does. He's just scared. <laughs> Like He's like, if creator. I do this, he'll unprogram me out of the game. <laughs> That's right. For so, our, our lovely jog this week, how about a, a teaser of something upcoming that's soon? Not this patch, but soon. What's, what's something that no one else knows that you can ju just tell us? Because it's just the boys here at the moment. Like, it's no one else. Yeah, no, it's just, <laughs> no one's just watching. It's not like 100 plus people here. So. Um, it's just, just the boys. I don't want to tease something I haven't started. I've got, I've got a lot of ideas um, that involve places to visit uh that are similar to the mine so like a uh, a place off island if that makes sense <clears throat> is this but, in relation to someone asking about like a new zealand island or something um i well i had another idea um before the game came out that i didn't have enough time to put in uh it would be a big undertaking that's probably enough right yeah i mean this yeah. guy's willing to go for it now Damn, I need to get me one of them. Hey, just a spitball because uh, my ideas never stop. Uh, so another version of the mine, but it's flooded and underwater, and you can dive in it, and it looks like the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, that's a that's a pretty good idea. I'll say that. That's, <laughs> Thank you. That's a, that's a good idea. Well, I got I, another, um, another one. So you mentioned in your Q and A as well that you. Uh, want to have more animals with Erwin, but you know chickens are going to be the most basic normal one there is. So you got uh, wombats that you milk, sheep that you um, get wool off. What's the next animal idea that you're going to throw our way? Um, Come on, just just ask me. There's no. There's no I, I haven't got one <laughs> thing in common. Um, I won't be a koala. Uh, They'll, they'll be a wild animal for sure. Um, but... Yeah, I, I also don't want to do an animal that, you know, you eat like a pig. But Stardew Valley has another reason for pigs. So maybe I can come up with something... Um, so something like cool for the truffle food. or something. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Come on, All chat. Right. Let us know what you think. think. Next animal that we can get from Erwin that can do something. He just maybe, doesn't want it. Maybe because they've been in that cage for too long. Maybe we'll get a wild one. It's a. Uh... It's all right. We don't have to play turkey ball. It's no, no. But please, <laughs> can, can you just smash him with the hammer? Yeah, I'll just give him one little tap with the hammer. Yeah, and everyone around it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that worked. <laughs> so the turkeys in this build actually are bugged. They're using the magpie drop table, the loot table. Yeah. That's so insane. they'll that's go back. Range. Yeah, they'll go back to the way they were, but the flying, the flying um, birds, they drop, they drop feathers now. They drop feathers more often. Um, South City, when are we going home? Why would you want to go there? Oh, because that's because, because we it was born. terrible. <laughs> that's where yeah, we were born. Terrible there. <laughs> um, maybe, you know, that might be like a, an off island experience you can do, but I mean, the only idea I have for it is that, um, it's worse, you know? Is South City based off a, uh, maybe a city within Australia? No, no. South uh, City is set in the Antarctic. Uh, it is, because every, like everything went south. Something. No, no. So <laughs> when everything went south, like literally everything went south. Uh, interesting. And would that be part of some of the lore of it, maybe? Yeah, Franklin. Franklin's the one that has a lot of that information that I've written. Okay. It's seven turkeys, right? Yeah. I mean, you can put as many in as you want. I'll oh, so, through seven in 30 seconds, so if you can do better. Sidebar again, out of curiosity. Um, I know it's fairly popular in Australia to have, like, campers and go out bush camping. Is that ever going to get mixed into the game somehow? Like perhaps we can go to Deep Bush with like a camp truck and trailer and look for more rare loot. 
Um, so one idea for camping, which isn't like a additional area uh, that I've had for a really long time, um, is like you could have a campsite and you could set it up on other people's islands and that tent would always have the same items inside. So like a, That's pretty cool. uh, yeah, and I like that idea. And, you know, you could also go to the other side of your island and stay there for a while, just set up your tent. And then yeah. just go back, you just pick up the tent and it's all inside. Yeah, uh, somebody in stream like, said deep bush as well, which, yeah, that'd be neat to see that. Like, take that camper setup and go to the deep bush. Is the deep bush in the mines? I mean, it could be an instance area, yeah. Like, we'd go on a deep bush excursion, a deep bush excursion somehow, yeah. Send yeah, that, that would be great. I... I like the idea of under underground trees as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's, there's, that's the that's the hardest part is that you have lots of ideas, but it just it's it, it ain't to, easy. I know. Yeah. It's yeah. Not easy at all. And I, even you know the game itself isn't the way I intended it. You just have to kind of make compromises along the way. And uh, there's tough. a fresher kidner in there, uh, James. If you oh, want to already try that in one. there. Yep. Yeah, I've fetched one as well, so give it a whirl, see what happens. Sorry, let me just... I won't lie, I jumped in my chair a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just like, what was that? Right, let's go to sleep and reset it quickly. That should fix it all. Maybe, maybe the IT the Kyle guy is right, who knows, but... You know. Maybe the guy who, uh suggested this so chat do you have any other questions we're going to be finishing up pretty soon so hit us up in the questions in the chat there see what's going on uh what you want to ask james while we've got him uh and also remember exclamation mark giveaway for the free giveaway of uh one copy of uh dinkum uh, there's three up for grabs so make sure you get into that and if you're not subscribed to the channel um make sure you subscribe uh, and also subscribe to ginger's channel and we really appreciate it um, so I do have something from chat. Um, Jonathan Ho's idea, the ingredients list for food, can we make it visible um, when we leave the cooking bench? So like in chests and that. Oh, so like, you know, you can get that, you can pin that list and then... Um, yeah, yeah, correct. So like you've got a task list or craft list, you could pin it for like food recipes. You can still see it while in there. Yeah, right. I think James, James had the BRB, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm back. Did you catch that question? Sorry, I did not. That's okay. Um, they want to know, you know how you can pin a task or like a recipe to build something and it's always there? It goes away when you go into an inventory box. Can we make it so it's visible while in that box so you know what's there? Because right now you got to look at it yes. in and out, in and out. Yes, um, that might be something I can do. Um, before the update goes live, but otherwise it's something else I'll, I'll add to the list. Just like um, tracking the building requirements, that's highly requested as well. For, for buildings, I mean. I'm just going to whack him with this. Yay! Sleeping right. did it. Who would have thought? Carl, you want to come work for me? <laughs> <laughs> Consultant fees. <laughs> QA. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot what I'm trying to do. Come over here. This is Great. hard. It's a game. <laughs> oh, he's coming for you. If you go too far away, you lose your aggro. Oh, that's one, and we're at 17 seconds in. No. Uh, just restart the clock, please. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Hey, come over that's here. Two. Come over here, mate. This is hard. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. I See, make it look Turkey easy. Gate wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you just added it, mate. It's okay. So if anyone else is watching this for the first time, um, seven turkeys oh. in a pen, get an echidna. The echidna's got to ball over and kill him. It takes two hits. Well, okay. Ten seconds left, James. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what happened uh, to him? Can, you, can someone quickly come and right-click on me? A bunch? Just keep... Oh, yeah, let, let me just let, let me give you a pat on the back. back. There yeah. you go. Here I have. Uh... It's your first day. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, something to fix this. Bad echidna. 
Does that work? I didn't even knew that worked. Huh. <laughs> so there's no prompt, but it's been in the game for a little while. I mm. should really put a prompt on there because it doesn't take your um, durability away or your money. James, I have something for you here. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I gave a sausage roll. All right, let's. We, we can do something that does, won't kill you, like uh, Ruby Soccer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what about pet what? dog health? That's another question that somebody just had. Because uh, uh, we have the the collars right now for the the dingo, the dig digo, I guess. Uh, doggo, yeah. Doggo, yeah. Uh, ding it's called a digo. Digo, which is um yeah. So I I want to let you rename them, and I I can I'm gonna buff their health. But they also drop the collar now. But oh, I, obviously nice. people don't want their dogs to pass away. So I need to find another way. But perhaps, you know, they just lay down and you have to give them some food to get them to stand up again. All right. Who wants to versus yeah. who? James versus who do you want to go up against, mate? Whoever. Oh, do we stand here? Where do I stand? And uh, in your goalpost. Oh, goal man. Post. And then as soon as I like drop it on the ground, you can run forward and... Uh, Push it into the, the goals. If it goes around behind, no point. If you kill it, point to the other person. So kill it. Oh, so don't hit it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you think it's going to go in the goal post and you go kill it, uh, like hit it and it dies, um, it's still a point for the other person. So you, you wouldn't think, think that needs to be a rule, but the number of times David has stabbed it. <laughs> Very vindictive. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Drop. Play. So I know people have been talking about the um, dog collar disappearing when the dog dies. Is that something that could be like a drop for if yes, the dog does that? It is now in this build. Okay. That's what about Muse saddles? Uh, Muse, Muse can't die. Oh, go the other way. Really? Don't go back behind that, there. That, oh. that was close. So the, the current, the Mew, like, uh, mount is a vehicle technically in the game. Oh man. Yeah, come in that way. It's gonna go around behinds. It's okay. Uh, it's hard to play with the um, like these. <laughs> the the dogs that are in the dev commands right now, what's the plan for those? Um so those no. those were like everywhere, um, but I limited to the regular colours because they're kind of like domesticated dogs. So right, one right. of the ideas I have, it's not in this build yet, would to be like to very, very rarely just make them appear with the other dingoes. Ooh, people would lose their minds for something like that. They would. Yeah. Some and of them the need to be behind. That's true, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Three. Yeah, that's perfect. Two, one, jump. <laughs> I really yes. want to hit this. I want to hit it so bad. <laughs> hit it. Yes, <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Oh, go in. Oh, it's going the other way again. Here's a hint. If you stand still, it uh, it goes away from you. So while running, there seems to be some sort of tracking issue with it. Speaking of which, uh, two people attacking an animal. Um, so if we go up to a croco and I start hitting it, it will aggro only to me. But uh, player two can come up and beat the hell out of it with no issues. Is there anything to in this update that will change that? Uh, it should. I haven't had a good chance. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Nice. Let's go try that now. Okay. Because right. I've never had four... It's hard for me to get four people to test with me. Uh, and it's, you got three people right here that will yeah, yeah, be here. Yeah, three people. Three willing well, subjects. Well, you guys don't want to actually be part of a test because I, I would say, okay, can, they, can you download this build, please? Okay, now wait 40 minutes. Now can you download this build? You don't, you don't want to be part of it. I mean, I'm um, alive, and that's Kyle's job at the moment, so... Uh, yeah, I'm actually IT, so that's literally <laughs> my job. Where's um, where's where do crocodiles spawn in your world? Just over here, but we keep going Little up this long? way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where Robo is? Who's Robo? That's why mine. Robo. Another um, question as well. Time. Very Aussie name. Yeah. So let's with just the go bank, down this way. Uh, the creativity of having to have that the million dinks in the bank to unlock Jimmy. I really like that. Uh, any chance you'll add? Additional hidden things and like a hundred million dinks in the bank, something crazy like that. Uh, yeah, possibly. I there needs to be a way to like end game to get rid of money, and I, I've 
considering like a lot of things because okay, when the game oh when the game came out uh people were outraged at the 25k to go to the mines and yeah that's not really a concern anymore because they realized how valuable the mines are yeah i mean um, on day one 25k is a lot but like after one year 25k is chump change yeah and i think a lot of the start of the game is trying to figure out how the game works so you're not like you guys could start a new file and you could get there pretty quick i think yeah <clears throat> actually so something I, that um ginger and i want to do is a uh, speed run to a million dinks of a new account that'd be great i the one of the speed runs i had uh was to like never buy a logging license oh i think it's possible i don't think it's possible okay so now if i if i go hit him will he turn around yeah 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 yeah, there you go. It changes okay. aggro. Still, okay. there's still, you know, four people attacking him, and one of them has an alphabet. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. It's all That's I brought. Right. Come on, we'd have a spear. Oh, and ginger. Yes. Ah, uh, you need this. Oh, yes, please. This isn't a great special item. This is because he's he's got bugged. I have the power. You see it on the floor there. No. Did it drop? Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this build's still bugged. I'll have to give it to you another time. My bad. Okay. That's no. That's why. That's why you're recycling them. It's probably because you're host. Ah, oh, it's because I'm hosting. Yeah. Like the recycling bin is is broke. Is why. I'm yeah, the drop. It won't. It won't show at all in this build. If you accidentally loot it, it's gone forever. Yeah. See. See if you can pick it up. I'm just standing on it now. Just come up and right click it. No, it's, it's not. There. It's not there. It doesn't exist. Okay. Now. You know, on my screen, James, uh, I can actually see the first pop you dropped in the second one. It's still there, even though I've picked it up twice. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's completely broken. It, in the update, <laughs> uh, in the build, it will be fixed. It's I've already fixed it. <clears throat> um, will there be another quick question? Are you going to add in uh, some sort of like uh, streamer item? So maybe a like a, a ginger empire hat or shirt or something. Uh, yes. I th well, there a lot of these like the item I'm wearing now was um, the Discord moderators. I asked them for ideas for like hats. So a lot of the new hats in this game are based off their requests. Um, I'm guessing. What would you like, Ginger? Probably a crown, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know me so well. Yeah, a and crown and a red beard. Oh, red. Well, no, it should change to red when you wear the beard, right? Ooh, I forgot that that was an option. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. Yeah, a nice crown, a velvet throne, red velvet throne. Good stuff. <laughs> and what would you guys? Very humble. Uh, what would you? What do you guys request? Oh uh, God, what would we? Uh, anything I want is a duckbill hat. Oh, that's that's the easiest that for ever. Ages. Yeah, so I mean, that's easy as hell. And it's we so we got the gangster hat and the uh, top hat. So we drop like. Katie gentleman, the gentleman theme, the closest thing we could think of was like that top hat and the gangster hat. Wait, I don't know what a, what is a duckbill hat? Uh, you ever watch Peaky Blinders? Yes. The hat that they always wear. Okay. That British cat looking thing. This probably isn't, oh yeah, like the, yeah. Laura, yeah. Laura Leaf, gold Laurel Leaf crown, by the way. So. Hey Ginger, <laughs> can you do me a favor? Yes. Do you want to grab your, uh, well, for that, stand on the other side and see if you can hit me with the projectiles. Sure. Oh, I'll join you. So this is another game that we're still in test, but we haven't quite finished yet. Yeah, I saw that um, when I walked past. I was wondering what that was for. At first, we we're going to have a big wall and have, like, battleships. Uh, it doesn't go over the hedge. Interesting. What if I pull the hedge out? Yeah, what if the hedge go? Hey, yeah, you hit it. Oh, no queen bees, so I don't have to worry. I think ah, you guys have very caught smart. enough queen bees. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. We have a million beehives over here, so go nuts. Yeah. What are you doing? Get over the other side. <laughs> you cheater. Oh, oh, I didn't see you had one. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, there is a queen bee here. It's got a thing. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, is this the game? You guys run around and we try and hit it? Basically, yeah. Oh, okay. I have a slingshot here for you, too. Oh, I got him. <laughs> I think I still have your slingshot you gave oh, I me. I got it. This is way easier than the slingshot. <laughs> it's the broken version. It's going to be bees everywhere. <laughs> Another common question, and I think this one is, is big brain, James. Uh, like, physical merch. Uh, Any plans for that? Not yet. I, I, um... I, I, I've talked to a lot of people. I, I can say that, but I can't say who or what about. That's awesome. Yeah, it, it, you would you would sell as much physical merch as you've sold the game, if not more. Like, not even exaggerating. I'd buy one of each. Thank you. I think I'll be pretty safe here. The range on it's not that great. Not from the it. slingshot, though. Here's a slingshot if you want. Marcus. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't watching. <laughs> uh, I, uh, can can the slingshot still hurt other players? Uh, uh, I hope it's just this build, but last it did. Chest, chest shots only, I think it was. Or was it headshots only? Yeah. I can't remember. Uh, it was chest shots only. So, I, like, their feet, it worked. You yeah, see, I feel like that should be left in the game because Marcus and I control each other every once in a while. It's lovely. Oh, how many stones? <laughs> I've got 500. Oh, that one hurt. Uh, let me give you some. No, they kill us or they break these first. <laughs> you guys want these stones back? You worked nice. really hard to get them. It's fine. No. Um, somebody's asked in the chat, uh, can bees sting you? Oh, shit. Uh, they used to be able to. But I, um, oh. so the same with the spiders. The spiders used to poison you like the jellyfish. The okay. spiders? Yeah, the spiders used to yeah, sting. Yeah, the bugs on the ground used to sting you. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah. I wish they were still in. That's cool. Uh, it was frustrating because a lot of the time you don't notice what's done it. And then when you notice what's done it, you try and kill the spider because it's attacked you and you can't kill it. Oh, you just kind of run. Uh, someone's asked about thunder egg. Nice shot. Uh, I think it's a... Thunder eggs. Can uh, the thunder eggs be increased um, during a storm? because they're quite rare to find at the moment. Or can we, like, if you do find them and leave the spawn low, have something like a high reward from it other than opals? Um, yeah, I mean, there's some stuff I want to do with the Thunder Eggs. I I like their current spawn, even though I think Ginger said he's I've never, never had, had one. one. Ever, never, ever, <laughs> not on the stream profile. I've got one in the, the upload playthrough, which is on, like, day 15 now. I've got one there, but I've never got one on stream. <laughs> I can understand why now you wanted to um like steal out mine when you came. I was like, why? Like this is like the third one we've found. <laughs> yeah, I've never so, seen one. Yeah, I I don't know if I'll up the reward for them. like they're just a really rare, weird thing that happens. So I kind of want, like I like it. it. I think it's really cool. I think we like, were lucky one time we went to go see um Jimmy at the boat and just as we got to the boat, lightning struck in the water and it spawned below oh, it. Oh wow. Yeah, we've got a video footage of it too, which is like amazing. I would love to see more mystery things like that. Out of everything, that's my favorite part, is the random loot and surprise, like, thrill of the hunt type stuff you find. Yeah, I, I agree. I like I like that stuff too. So, like, Ted used to be called Buck, and he was Clover's brother. But I he used to just move in to a shop above Clover. If you look at really old dev, you'll see the old clothes shop. It was like two stories. And it was fine, but I, yeah, I ended up changing it to make him the way he is. And I still think, I think if you know, oh yeah, if you know the rules, I think he should spawn every time. I don't, uh, it's not intended that he sometimes just doesn't spawn. I, I think he should be accessible once you know how to get him. True friend, Ginger. <laughs> okay. He who cast the first stone shall get backslapped. <laughs> Will okay. we ever get shared island slash same save files for same household local players, similar to how Animal, Animal Crossing works? So, uh, yes. Well, I, I, it will be a long time. So, I've made some steps. It's just that will one hundred percent need to like require a new save. So that that's something I can't avoid. Uh, there's there's just like general like logistic problems as well. Like uh, so, 
if one of the players on the island says, hey, I'm going to build John's shop, and the deed's in their pocket, and then they log off forever, where, like, where, do, where does the deed go? Does it go back to Fletch? Right, right. There's a lot of, yeah, that kind of stuff that I have to work out. So, there, yeah, it's it's a bit trickier, but I want to make the stuff here that I can um, more accessible for other players, just so there's less that they can't do. Because in the end, there's, you know, there's eight buildings, nine buildings that the, the other players can't move. But there are other limitations to not being a resident. So they're the ones I want to get rid of first. But when it comes right. to like moving buildings and building buildings, uh, that will be one of the last things I did. So, for example, in this build, um, visiting players can buy farm animals, but they have to stay on this island. I like that too. Speaking of buildings, when's that post office show up and what's it do? Uh, the post office is an old town hall. Are you going to repurpose it to anything? Yeah, I think so. I, I don't know if a post office makes sense unless you don't receive mail uh, before you build it. Uh, but yeah, it will probably be repurposed as something. And that's a really old model, so I'd probably create a new model for it. Is that something nice. along the suggestion of multiple mailboxes for guest houses? They could just go to a single point? Yeah. Yeah, and I have a, you know, just like a... You know the mailboxes here in Australia that you put mail into to deliver it. Yeah, yeah, the red mailboxes. Yeah, the big red ones. Um, that's that's the kind of thing I've been playing around with. So that would be for guests. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, I got one last question: Is there anything in the game that no one's discovered yet? No, I, I don't think so. That, there's something hidden that no one's found. Okay. Um, I don't. I think some of the things aren't common knowledge. Uh, one thing that took a lot of a long time to find was that sprinklers can make grass grow. Oh, wow. Ooh, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. So you put yes. them where you cut the grass, and the grass will come back. Yes. Yeah, so like the tall grass That's will grow cool. back. Um, if we do that, we might be able to show off something new in this update. If we do that in this update, have you guys got a sprinkler we can yeah, relocate? Yeah, I'll go grab an iron sprinkler. Do you want to put it on mowed grass? Uh, not mowed grass. Mowed grass is still. You'll have to um, grab a water tower too, bro. Well, we can just plant some I'll grass in here. here. I'll just grab some seeds. i got a million of yeah. them over here. No, no, we'll just grab some seed. Hey, guys, I have a great idea. Could you grab some seeds for the dirt over here? A good idea. I'm grabbing some seeds. Hey, uh, while, while they're grabbing today, seeds. Guys, uh, these two had to leave unexpectedly. <laughs> <laughs> just randomly. I don't know why. They just left. <laughs> Definitely, definitely won't get. <laughs> what about with the change to the mines? And I really like the change where it goes kind of radioactive late at night. Any chance that there would be like a radioactive suit or something that comes into play there as a way to stay longer? Um, not for a while, unless you know. It would require for, to make that interesting. I think it would require a bigger update to the mines. So right, like if, more if stuff could, to do. Yeah, something would happen afterwards. Because, yeah, I put in that time of just, just to stop people spending it's forever. Right. You know, the the late is supposed to discourage it, but it's once you have enough food, you can do whatever you want. I mean, even now, if you take some bottled brew down there with the health regen, you can, you can still stay down there. Yeah. So if we sleep it out now, will we wake up and there'll be, should be grass there, I guess? There well, a little be. water, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go have a nap. What type of grass is this? I just it's normal grass. Bush, bush grass, yep. That lovely sphere grass that makes you itch. <laughs> I think I left my bed somewhere. I don't know. Uh, there's room in the um, normal house, Ginger. Ooh. I don't know if I can sleep to next to anybody but Marcus, but maybe he'll close his eyes. I think Marcus is happy with it, uh, sharing around a bit from what we know. He has no aversion to uh, swapping beds. <laughs> How's it going, James? <laughs>
because I a lot of people just grind the grass. They want to like they want to cover the island. Oh, in it. so this is a way to eat. make it easier. Yeah, it's wow. so a little bit boring, but yeah. So we're now sod worked. farmers. Uh, Marcus just wanted you to know he felt um, betrayed. betrayed. So he wasn't happy. He's in the chat. Oh, I'm sorry, Marcus. So see these ones. Look, harvest them. Yeah, they just drop grass. Oh, so, that's awesome. Oh, that's pretty that will continue cool. to grow grass seed if you leave it. Wow. So if you, you cut you all of them down. Tropical? Yes, tropical grow these ferns that grow them, and it's far and away the, the, the easiest way to get tropical seeds. Yeah, tropical seeds are the yeah, hardest really seed neat. I've found to get, but this would be amazing. You know, farm seeds. Yeah. So the, the Can you... The Do you cut be, the ones down that don't grow, or these are all like have lootables now? Uh, no, only those few had lootables. Um, so if oh, you chop okay. down the ones that don't grow, uh, and then sleep again, you can you can build up a farm of them. Potentially have more spawning in. Okay, so now now I need to expand to like four thousand plots. No, <laughs> no, yeah. this will be enough. I think we'll have to double our farm size. This is this is modest, but uh, I think we're going to have to double it by the looks of it. So, so my next question is going to be, can we get a slasher for the tractor then? Slasher. Uh, it, I actually haven't tested it, but I think the tracker, tractor will pick up these grass seeds. Oh, excellent. Well, we've got I think one so. right here. <laughs> Don't have well, any seeds, though. Yeah, we just cleared it all out. But if we use a side... Keep growing or no? Uh, just the same ones will pop up because we didn't chop down uh, the. Do you guys want to sleep? I'll just clear um, out yeah. some random ones. Yeah, I've got a scythe over here on the ground. Old farmer Dave here. Any other big machine plans? Uh, a. I, I've got plans. I, I've ha always had the idea for a bulldozer, but um, a little far away. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one to plan out for sure. Oh, we've got more honey already. You can take that honey home with you, James, if you want. <laughs> Thanks. This is a byproduct of uh, the, one of my latest videos we did of. Cracking up a hundred beehives to see the spawn rate of uh, the queen bee, which I see that is about twenty percent. Am I roughly right or close? Um, I, I'd sorry. have to look. Yeah, <laughs> I figured you wouldn't have the numbers offhand, but yeah, it sounds right. Twenty percent chance that each bee could be a queen. So I don't know what the what the actual odds are. Marcus normally tucks me in here, James. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good friend. Yeah, he is. Yeah, real good. <laughs> uh, I'm in the bed. Friends that sleep together play together, right? That's right. Uh, and I did put in the bunk bed. Ooh. It's, it's, it's just a random Ooh. piece of furniture. Uh, for it, like right now, next next update. Uh, in the one that will be live later today for the Discord. Nice. So for everyone that missed earlier on, um, James is going to try and put the uh, S field live in Steam on, in Discord for people. Um, so if you want to try and play that, um, you can opt into it, I believe. Yes. Yeah. The, the instructions will be on the Discord. Ah, uh, we only got one. That's right. Don't one. harvest that one. Uh, Dave will try with the tractor. Oh, he's got a few over there. So that one didn't work. You gotta put the harvester down, though. Yeah, you gotta use the right machinery there, I sir. Did. I did. Oh, it's not going down on my screen. You gotta use the harvester. No, it works. Yeah. I'll use this and I'll go across. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. One. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, I've not even seen the tractor go down either. See, I, I can see it on mine. Interesting. Yeah, James, that's James, James is also. not working. No. Well, I, I wasn't 100% sure. Oh, well, now you know. You don't need to have a bug report Ooh, submitted. Speaking of tractor, did you take a peep at the the uh, fertilizer not going out with it, right? Uh, yes, you did mention something, and I 
Oh, was it the fact that it could lay fertilizer on top of an already planted crop? No, so you go three wide and it'll lay in two squares and leave one empty, but still take your three for each row. Oh, okay, yep, I'll have another look. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, I think we'll just wrap that up here for today, guys. We've gone over yeah. what, half an hour longer, which we're very appreciative, James. We've had a lot of fun. We've um, got some good answers and some, some good things to share with everybody. And the community's had their questions asked, answered and whatnot. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Yes, thanks, thanks for coming. For Thanks for hey, thank streaming. you so much, Greg, guys. It was amazing. Hope to do it again sometime. Yeah, yes. let's let's do it we'll for the, it. Uh, your next update. We'll do another like, Q and A. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, FYI, right. Minnie, she did a fantastic job. So if you, I've seen her in the chat once or twice. But Minnie, you did an absolute ripper job of the um, of your first Q and A with James, which was amazing. Yeah, Minnie, Minnie put it all together, and she's a very valuable person, and I appreciate all the help she gives me. Yeah, no, that's good. Well, anyhow, thanks for um, watching, guys. Um, if you've liked this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also subscribe to Gingers. Um, remember, we do have our giveaway. Um, so if you put an exclamation giveaway, the link will come up. They'll also, if you go watching this after it's been posted, it's up for 48 hours. Um, so it's free to enter. You can get one of three copies of the Dinkum game to share with your mates. And yeah, the more, the more entries you put in, the more chance you have of winning. Yep. Hey, thanks as well, guys. Much appreciate it. Please make sure to drop a sub for KD and drop a sub for Ginger Empire. Uh, I will be staying live over on Ginger Empire, so I'm going to head that way now. Uh, I'll come buggy you later then, eh? Yep, James, Dave, Kyle, a pleasure. I'm going to have to cut away now and help settle the kids, and then I'll be back to play in for another hour or so. Thank you very much, guys. No thanks, James. Thanks, thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye.